Midwestern Cowboy. This is Iron Horse. Thanks for watching. Well, I'm about two hours in on a road trip, and I'm headed up to Camp Alexander Mack in Milford, Indiana. Camp Mack is a Church of the Brethren camp, and I uh, just wanted to show you my riding gear here, my traveling gear. I've got a nice Vance bag, and it just loads. You can hold anything you want to in here. When you couple it with the saddlebags on this bike, it really, well, somebody's getting crazy. It really does a nice job. It holds a lot. It really makes this little Sportster a great little road bike. So I'm going to let you ride along with me to camp. And let's go after it, huh? Like I say, it's about a two hour ride up here, but it's been an enjoyable ride. I've had to stop a couple of times and get off the bike and stretch. Just enjoyed a nice gas station tuna salad sandwich that was frozen, so I had to microwave it. I microwaved it too long and I ended up having a, a baked tuna salad sandwich. <laughs> I don't know, they're not all that good baked. But it was food and I was hungry. So I guess it'll do. Where I'm headed is, like I said earlier, Camp Alexander Mack. It's a Church of the Brethren camp in Milford. And this coming summer, there's going to be all kinds of kids that come to this camp and get a chance to explore the great outdoors. A lot of these kids come down from the Chicago area and they're city kids and they don't really get to spend too much time out in the woods, you know, and that's that's a pretty cool thing to come to camp and get a chance to uh, paddle a boat out on a lake and maybe hike some trails, sit around a campfire and actually eat food cooked over a campfire. That's really good. They do a good job up here at Camp Mac and of course they always tie, you know, connect, you know, some some kind of spiritual lesson to the whole thing as well too to connect it to our faith. So I'm actually headed now to counselor training, a good weekend retreat up here. I hope to show you some video and some pictures of around camp and really get a chance to enjoy just this weekend. This year I'm going to be serving as a team leader for a camp that's called Echo Adventure. That'll be the week of uh, June the 12th. And I gotta admit, I'm looking forward to it. I think it's just gonna be a, a, a fun time. It'll be good. Here's the camp now. So I might pull in here and just kind of drive around a little bit and show you some of the camp before I go check in. Beautiful pine trees. It's just really nice down in here. And you drive in under the hoop. I get to do some off-roading now. There probably isn't too many people in here yet. Like I say, I am early, so... Those are called yurts there. It's like a tent, but, it, but it's nicer than a tent. And then they have these cabins. Right there's the cabin I slept in last year when I came up here, so maybe I'll get lucky and have that one again. It was really kind of nice. I want to show you Schultz Chapel. This really is my place where I come when I'm here. I, I really come here and enjoy just the quiet time. And it's just a beautiful view of the lake, and it's a nice place to just sit back and reflect and, uh, you know, kind of reconnect with God. It's just rustic in here. It's just open all the time, sawdust floor, some church pews, and nice stained glass windows, a stone building. Very brethren, very basic. 
the Brethren Church is one is a church that believes in simplicity. You know, simple living. And so this little chapel really embodies that style. And there's a family of, you know, mallard geese, mallard ducks or geese, I don't know what they are down there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight babies, mom and dad, and they're a little bit nervous with me here, I'm sure. But boy, look at that view of the lake. It's just so quiet here. But there's Sarah Major, Sarah Major Lodge. Stayed in there before too, it's really nice and rustic. And there's the big bell, you ring the bell whenever there's a inclement weather coming in and we have a tornado drill here. We'll have to practice that I'm sure once we get the kids up here. Probably shaking this place alive here with my loud pipes. But I think I am the first one here. I did see a car up at, uh, there's a building called John Klein. That's kind of the hub of the place. That's where the offices are and all that. And the training center, a really nice cafeteria. And, uh, oh, there is a car coming in here. Good, we'll pull over here and let them buy it. There's John Klein, the John Klein building. <clears throat> That's where we'll be doing our counselor training. That's some nice potholes. Then on this end of the camp, you have, you know, more, more cabins and these over here are a little bit rougher than the ones on the other end. Some of the older kids get to spend more time in there. There's always games people play, you know, the boys try to scare the girls in the middle of the night and things like that and it's just a lot of fun. It is quiet up here. Midwestern Cowboy, this is Iron Horse. Thanks for watching.